Hi, I'm Kristen from Elevate Homes. This house here is an Elevate 114, which is one of our smaller models at 114 square meters. It uh, is a standard home, it's three bedrooms, one bathroom and has a separate laundry. But in this case, the uh, client wanted a two bedroom, two bathroom home with a separate scullery and a laundry. So uh, we changed the plans to accommodate that. Uh, just as an aside, we've done quite a few bespoke two bedroom, two bathroom homes um, in this particular model um, just recently. So we're in the process of designing a, um, a standard 114 home with a two bedroom version. So keep a look out for that, it should be on our website soon. But back to the here and now, um, why don't you come in and we'll have a look around. Okay, so we're here in the main living room of the home. Um, over on this back wall here we have a long sliding window and then on the opposite side of the home we've got these um, lovely big overwall stacker doors which are both features or standard features of the 114 um, home. Um, the other thing um, you might have noticed here is it's, it's, we've got a raking ceiling in here. This is actually an upgrade but it's a really good option if you're wanting just to create a little bit more um, sense of space in this area here and um, it's something that a lot of clients will opt for in either the barn or the tilt model. Um, another standard feature in this, um, in this area is this entertainment unit on the back wall here. Uh, as you can see, we've got some open shelving on the right, um, some over cupboards, some under cupboards, and then a TV recess. And then at the end here, we've got a really good size storage cupboard. So that's this side of the room. We'll go now and have a look at the kitchen. Okay, I'm in the kitchen here. Uh, this kitchen actually has a slightly different layout to the standard 114 in that um, we usually would have a hallway leading off into the third bedroom. But as I mentioned before, um, we've actually got a, done away with that uh, third bedroom and it's now a scullery. So this hallway has become the concealed sort of entry to the scullery, which is the addition. So just come on in and have a look in there. Um, it's a really good size scullery actually uh, for the the size of the house that, we, that we're in. Uh, you've got a sink in there as well, plenty of open, open shelving, and then we've also got the full height cupboard at the end there, which is great for your brooms and mops and what have you. So yeah, coming on back out, out of the um, scullery into the main kitchen again. Um, the island bench is pretty standard, um, our engineered stone bench top. Our client actually wanted a sink cover, made out of the same stone, so that's quite an effective option if you're wanting a bit more space for your bench. We've also extended the end of this one so that you can uh, have a few more stools around, around the corner there, so that just adds to your, to your seating. Um, the general layout of the back of the kitchen here is a little bit different. Again, it's um, sort of based more on our larger size models, um, just because we've got this extra space down the end. So we've got a space for a fridge there that will go on once, go in once it gets to site. Um, along here we've got the over covers, nice bank of over covers, and you've got your soft close drawers that we usually have under the bench. We've got your standard Bosch uh, hob and range hood, and then further along we've got the Bosch, our standard Bosch oven and the Panasonic microwave there as well. And then at the very end, We've even got a full-size uh, pantry, which is um, so just a heap of storage in this kitchen, a lot of, a lot of kitchen <laughs> in this home. So that's pretty much us there. Uh, we might go around the corner now and have a look at the master bedroom suite. Okay, come on down into the master bedroom here. Right, um, the master bedroom is actually usually at the other end of the house, uh, but we've taken over the, the two guest bedrooms on this end and just created a larger master bedroom, and we've added additional storage cupboard and the ensuite as well. Um, an additional feature in this room here is the um, inbuilt cabinetry. We have a TV recess um, with your over cupboards up the top here, um, with quite a decent amount of depth in there, and um, some soft closed drawers as well, and then a little wardrobe um, at the at the end here as well. So that's quite a quite smart that little unit. Um, the other thing, as I mentioned, we've got a storage cupboard in this, this um, area here, and then uh, we've got the ensuite alongside. So if you want to come and have a little look at the ensuite while we're here. Right, so um, it's a really lovely spacious feeling here actually. It's quite a, quite a decent size ensuite. We have a 1.6 metre shower in the corner there, and this is actually a 1.5 metre vanity with two drawers, so it's a bit bigger than the standard one we usually use. Um, another popular addition is this LED mirror, sort of a rectangular version here. And um, yeah, another popular feature actually in en suites we're finding or bathrooms is this exterior door. So it's obviously site dependent, but 
a lot of people are just adding a door if you've got a you know a pool or a spa out on the deck somewhere out there quite handy to have the door coming into a shower so that's uh, this end of the house I think we'll go now and have a look at the other end of the house which um, is the guest bedroom the bathroom and the laundry okay I'm here beside the entertainment unit so if you'd like to come down this little short hallway here just mind the temporary power cable um, we have the bathroom at the end of the hall and then we've got the the laundry on your left which is very conveniently located next to that door there so come on in uh, another good size room really for the size of house we're in uh, we have a full like floor to ceiling cupboard we've got a few of these in the house which is great uh, we've got the open shelving around the corner there um, a cupboard over and under cupboard over a very good size sink and then uh, we've got space at the end here for a washer, a stacked washer dryer combo, which will go into the house once the house sets aside. Okay, so I'm here in the main bathroom now. Um, this has got a more standard size shower. It's a more, it's a one by one meter shower in the corner there. And then we've also got our more standard 1.2 meter wide vanity over here, with the um, uh, which opens like this, and then we've got the ghost drawer as well at the top. Um, above that, we've got this uh, lovely LED mirror again. We saw the rectangular one in the ensuite, but this one's obviously the round version, which is always very popular. Uh, we had the same toilet and also the same towel rail that you saw in the ensuite as well. Um, one other little thing I thought I'd point out, because um, you not often, you can't often see it on video, but this, uh, all the fittings in here are actually gunmetal grey, which is a really on-trend colour at the moment, and um, looks very sophisticated, I think. Um, one other, uh, the last thing I'm not sure if you noticed, but we've got dual access to this um, this bathroom, so visitors can come from the main living area into to use the toilet during you know when they when they're coming. If they decide to stay the night, they can uh, <laughs> come and use the guest bedroom and then use this door as their sort of ensuite access. So if you want to come into the guest bedroom in here, um, we've got the featured uh, inbuilt wardrobe in here, floor to ceiling Maltica sliding doors. A nice big amount of space in there and then I suppose the other thing to point out in here is our windows we've got a highlight window that go above the bed and then you've got this lovely big slider window that are both features of pretty much all of our elevate guest bedrooms most in most of our models um, clients have actually also gone decided to go for a lovely linen linen drape and we've also got the light filter blinds as well so that's become quite popular as well getting your curtains and and blinds installed before the house leaves the site, leaves the foresight. Um, so that's, I think that pretty much ends our, um, our, ends our tour for today. Uh, if you're interested in learning a little bit more, uh, please visit our website at www.elevatehomes.co.nz or pop in to see us. And remember to keep a lookout for our new version of the 114, the two bedroom model. Um, it should be on, on our website very soon. So thanks for listening and bye for now.